So we will uh, take a deep dive into memory management. So what we will do is uh, we will create a very uh, simple vector class and we will uh, use memory management techniques, pointers and uh, memory on the heap with the keyword new. And we will create a, a simple vector class and that will give us an insight into how to manage memory uh, in C++, right? And, uh, C Sharp, Java, and Python, uh, they, don't exp they don't expose a developer uh, to memory, but it's, it's good to at least know what's going on uh, inside uh, list vectors, right? So that when you're using them, you have that in mind and you're like, okay, like, uh, and to uh, keep that in mind and it'll help you like select correct algorithms and what have you, right? As you gain more experience. So here we have like a very uh, simple class diagram. The class name is vector. And we have a uh, sequence pointer. Uh, that's the list. So, and then we have the size. That's the size of the list. And uh, then we have a function that returns size, right? And we'll add more uh, functions to this. But now you can get an idea of like, oh, so that's that's how they built the vector class well that's how they started building it right so that's what we'll do uh today let me uh, bring up uh, uh the code space and we'll start coding so remember uh the rule for creating memory on the heap is you, you uh, create memory, you use memory, and you delete memory. And one thing uh, we found out is that, well, I, I told you about this, it's very difficult to know like when to stop using the memory. But uh, with classes, we can, we can at least limit the scope of how long that memory is available and when we delete it, and we'll get into it, right? So remember the class has a constructor meaning it <clears throat> executes as soon as you create a class and that builds uh, or initializes variables but it's a logical place to create memory so when the constructor runs you create memory and then classes also have uh, a destructor which runs right before the class is removed from memory so in the destructor we can tell C++ Oh, by the way, delete the memory I created for this class, right? So now we have a pair and <clears throat> we can limit the scope of memory, right? Which is great because now we're like, oh, okay. So before, like, we, we it was hard for us with functions to control that, right? Because functions are free functions and, like, we can have, like, 100 functions. And then, like, who owns the memory? But with a class, we know that the class owns the memory. So when the class loads create memory when the class has been removed from memory delete memory does uh, uh, limit uh, errors but there's still room for error right and we'll see uh, why that's the case so let me uh, go here 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 and let's uh, memory I think I have a vector so here we have this vector so we'll create a class and we'll name it my vector, and uh, we'll we're just gonna take a dive into like how they may have created the vector class, right? We use a capital V because uh, C++ uses a lowercase v for its vector. So we'll say uh, that we create a class, and we know about public access specifiers, and we know about private. And we know about constructors, right? So we have a constructor. So when someone creates a vector for this class, then they need to specify the size, meaning how many, you want me to save how many uh, elements, right? So say we want to create a vector of three elements and we pass in the three, and then we create dynamic memory on the heap of three elements. I'll, I'll uh, diagram a little bit. So we have, uh, I know I said sequence in the previous uh, 
example, but here we'll create a pointer, we'll name it elements, right? That's the list in the vector. So when we are adding items to the vector, we're going to be adding them to this list. We have to keep track of size, and then we have to keep track of capacity. Um, you may not recall, but when we were introduced to the vector this semester, we went over size and capacity. So if you create a vector of 10 elements, then the capacity is 10. And if you added five elements, then the size is five and the capacity is still 10, right? So that's what we're talking about here. We will keep track of that within the class. So let me see here. We go here and let's code uh, this piece here. Let me go to the CPP. Uh, let me uh, go here just just to make sure that uh, we all understand what I was saying, right? So we have stack, and then we have uh, the heap free store. So we'll create a vector of three elements because it's easier to diagram, right? So with our class, if we say vector uh, of three, right? So the three elements. So then uh, this is loaded to main. And then the class gets a chunk of memory. Okay, the cl our class will get a chunk of memory. Say it gets this chunk, we probably need to make main larger, right? That all that green stuff here is main, and then this here is V. The memory allocated to our vector, right? So we have a pointer element and size uh, is zero initially because we don't have any elements and capacity is three, right? So this is size, this is capacity. And since we said three, then three blocks of memory are created on heap memory. So assuming it picked this three blocks, right? So whatever is in there at the time of uh, creation, that's what's in there, right? So assuming this is, well, I don't know, we'll make up some number 212. So then we know the value here is Y212, and then we do that, right? So size and capacity, so size is zero because although we have capacity for three, we've not added any data. We've just allocated space, okay? So that's, that's uh, capacity. How many elements does the vector have? Size is how many elements have values, right? So assuming we set a value of zero to this one, then the size would be one, but the capacity would still be three. Okay, that's that's what I was talking about with the code. Okay, so let's go here and let's create a constructor. So we have to make this part of the class, right? So this is how we make it part of the class from previous examples. And then we're like, okay, let's uh, create some code that initializes our memory and we can use uh, this syntax like initializer so we were like okay so we will uh, let me see i think mm. i think these guys have to be in order okay so i'll say uh size is initially what zero right uh, zero uh, capacity is three and the curly brace initializes those values and then we say elements and the syntax Again, initializer, meaning like whatever I type in there will initialize values. This is a pointer. And to create memory with pointers, we use the new keyword. So we say new int brackets. In here, we specify size. What size? Size, right? Here, I meant to put three. Okay, so now we have 
we created what this diagram uh, denotes, right? Now we're like, oh, okay, so we have that. Okay, mm, let me see here. Let me think. Uh, okay, that, that should be fine. Let me go here and we need uh, iostream. We need IO stream and over here we'll be using C out statement. So we'll say using C out. And here we'll say C out new memory created. Let me see uh, constructor new memory created at. And remember, we can always get the address by just simply typing the name of the pointer and that will display an address for us and that way we can get a visual like oh okay so memory is created there that's the constructor when i started the lecture i mentioned a destructor so a destructor constructor runs when you create the class destructor runs right before the class is removed from memory so this is the syntax we use uh, uh, tilde i think is that guy and then we say okay like that's my destructor and as, as i was explaining create memory use memory delete memory so right before the class is removed from memory we were like oh so this is where i can write code to delete memory at that address and then I will say uh, delete open close bracket is required because we are dealing with a list. Okay, the pointer has a list of elements. And then we'll say delete the elements. <clears throat> so when we create this class, we should see uh, the output constructor new memory created at. <clears throat> and then when the class is about to be removed from memory, we should see like delete memory at some address <clears throat> and we can go um, let me go here and i'll create three functions okay they're not part of the class and we'll say uh, use vector so use vector and in here we'll simply <clears throat> define the class i mean the free function and we'll say okay so i want to create a vector so i'm going to create a vector <clears throat> and that's it remember what i've been uh when i've been diagramming the stack functions get loaded and then the function clears its variables and c plus plus has that built-in functionality functionality so we are going to leverage that knowledge and we'll be like okay so i know that use vector will be loaded onto the stack and when it's loaded onto the stack my vector will be creating memory this will create the memory for me but right before maybe we can put here right like uh exiting use vector free function we can uh, that way we can see output when we run the program right and uh exiting yep yep okay so it's low we're get memory created on the heap for us and right before use vector is eliminated from the stack it'll send the message to vector and tell vector hey like run your destructor because you need to clear memory i'm about to be uh, removed from the stack so we can see the output by going here and including my vector and then here we call use vector and uh, let me see uh, using c out i can say using c out here 
because I'm including iostream in that age, right? So I do not have to include iostream here anymore. Uh, again, but I, I just want to be like, okay, uh, loading use vector to the stack. And then we do the opposite, right? Uh, unloaded, unloaded, use vector from the stack. There we can see like, well, what's, what's going to happen, right? Okay, so let me go to CMake. <clears throat> and let's go look for that piece here. Uh, <clears throat> memory, vector. Let me make sure I don't have a syntax error so I can do a build. And we see x at 0, we, we know we're good. But we've learned with memory that just because you get exit code 0 <laughs> doesn't mean your program is going to run, right? You may have some memory issues. But this is a simple program. I think we should be OK. <clears throat> OK, so let's inspect the output, right? Loading use vector to the stack, right? And then notice here, the constructor runs. And it created memory at location 0, 2, C, 0. And then we see exiting use vector free function, meaning like <clears throat> I'm about to be that uh, free. I mean, uh, use vector free functions about to be removed from the stack. And notice it calls my destructor. And it deletes the dynamic memory that was created for me. Does it have the same address? Yes, 0, 2, C, 0. It's the same address location. And then we see the uh, output where the function was removed from the stack, right? So we're using built-in functionality for uh, our memory management techniques, right? And that's uh, rule number one in uh, the rule. So this is uh, rule uh, number uno. Rule number one in uh, legacy C plus plus, right? For memory management, right? So let me put here rule number one of three. So I think they call it rule of three. Let me see here. Uh, I want to mislead you all. C plus plus uh, rule of three rule of uh, three. <clears throat> yeah, actually, this is doesn't make a rule. It's just this one, right? So that's there'll be rule three of three, which means we need to cover rules one and two, right? But since this go uh, logically together, it's, it's OK to cover this, right? So if you do a search uh, C++ rule of 3, then you'll see that you need a destructor, something known as a copy constructor, and something known as a copy assignment, which we'll cover today. And that uh, helps you manage memory, uh, dynamic memory creation in C++ classes. This technique is technique that C Sharp, Java, and Python use behind the scenes, but they don't expose you to those techniques, right? They mainly because memory management is very error prone. So that's why they decided to lock the memory management. And they have expert programmers code lists for you and creating classes on the heap for you behind the scenes. So you don't have to worry about. Uh, managing the memory. But that doesn't mean that you can't have memory leaks in C Sharp, Java, or Python, right? But they make it harder to uh, make mistakes, at least harder than C++. OK, so if we see this code here, that's this diagram here. Right? So uh, let's look at the diagram, right? Assuming this is use vector, right? But the same, actually, we're not going to include use vector in this because it'll complicate uh, the diagram. But the same thing happens with main. Main gets loaded. And before main uh, gets removed from memory, main tells its variables like, hey, call your, if you're a class, call your destructor. So 
assuming main gets loaded, main gets loaded, and then V gets loaded, right? It's variable. And then elements pointer uh, gets loaded, memory is created, and we have three slots, and size and capacity are also loaded. Right before main is removed, meaning right before our program exits, main sends a message to V, and it's like, hey, call your destructor so that you can free this memory, and it'll free the memory. Uh, why? Because functions are loaded, and they take care of their variables, right? And they eliminate the variables from the stack, and we're leveraging that so that it can call our destructor. So now we do not have to remember to call delete. With free functions, if you create memory, you use memory, you have to remember to call delete at some point, okay? So now here, the only thing we have to do is remember to create the constructor that deletes uh, our memory. And then from there, it's kind of like, we're great, right? Let me uh, show you one, one more uh, thing. Let me first uh, upload this example. Okay. Uh, I'll say my vector constructor uh, destructor uh, stack vector I think I'm gonna run out of characters uh, so vector uh, constructor I'll just say destruct <laughs> uh, okay uh, yeah okay so let me commit this uh, yes, let me sync it. That way, if, uh, you want to grab that from my repository. So let's briefly go back and look at use vector uh, implementation. So we go here and we're like, okay, so we created a vector, and then it did magic, right? It's kind of like, well, it deleted memory for me. That's only if you use a stack variable for your class. What uh, do I mean? Well, um, you can create a pointer, right? And then you can say uh, pointer v equals new vector of three. So in essence, now you're creating your class with a pointer to the heap. So when you do this, then C++ is like, oh, you know what you're doing, so do your thing. So let, let me remember. Oh, I guess we'll. I won't eliminate this output, and then we'll we'll compare outputs, right? So let's go CMake and let's run this piece again. So run in terminal. Uh, no such file or directory. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. So let's build here. Uh, run in terminal. Okay, so uh, well, that's probably some Visual Studio Code issue. Okay, so let's see. Load using vector to the stack. Load uh, use vector to the stack. Constructor new memory created. Constructor new memory created. Right, different memory address obviously. Exiting user free function. Exiting user free function. Delete memory. Up. The memory was not deleted. Who can tell me why? It's the the memory use rules, right? What are they? Create memory use memory and the last one I uh, couldn't hear you no I'm not sure I guess my, I don't know if my speakers working or not I guess my speakers not working so we can type Let's see here. Yeah, I couldn't hear. Let me hold on. Let me unplug and plug in.
Okay, now it's working, so now I can... Okay, you typed. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, delete, right? Yeah, it's it's the same rule, right? You, you, you use memory, meaning you create memory, uh, you use the memory, and then you delete the memory. So here, once we, we, we're like, I, have point, I use pointers and the keyword new, C++ is like, oh, I'm not going to call delete for you, at least for the vector. So here... I need to remember to delete V. Once I like, I use delete V, then my class destructor will execute. Okay, so uh, is that because uh, the pointer is in a smart pointer? Right, it's a legacy pointer. Gotcha. And and because it's not a stack pointer, right? We want to use a stack pointer for this one because, like, creating the vector on the stack is not gonna take up a lot of memory it's the data on the heap that's going to take up a lot of memory but we've already handled that here by creating memory on the heap with elements right so it's okay to use a stack vector that's what c++ does so uh, we go here and notice now down here delete memory is created right so uh, I, I put here uh, not recommended but I mean I still want to do use a stack variable instead meaning just use vector v3 and the memory will be created on the heap right and you can have 10,000 elements it's not going to affect the stack everything's on the heap right so so i will commit this and uh Okay, so I'll put that and let's commit it. Let me check it in. Okay, so okay, so let me. Um,